Hi, I'm Rob from Hobbsley. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time, we've got a bottle of beer from a brewery which I presume is, is called uh, Browery um, Ziendene. Z E H E N D N E. Ziendene. Yeah. And the um, beer is called Musambaka. It's a lager beer. 5.5% ABV. There's a terrible pronunciation. Out of the way. <laughs> Using this little glass from the Cloud Water Friends and Family um, Festival. Um, because it's a boiling hot day and I want to drink small amounts to keep the rest of it cold. I think we're worse than warm lager. Bosh. <laughs> so, pin glass, I should expect. I mean, there is a, it's, I won't say pin right, I think there is a slight haze to it. Um, um, I did clean this glass and I've given it a good wipe, but it's still clearly... You, I, I just had a Augustina Hells in it, so kiss my arse. If, you, if you've got an issue with my dirty glass, at least it's dirty from a suitable um, previous beer. But a perfect kind of pale golden beer, pure white foam on top. So let's give it a swirl and check out the aroma. Yeah, I mean, for 5.5, you do get a bit of heft of malt. Yeah, you're getting that. You are getting a bit of DMS in there, that kind of creamed corn. You're getting a, a certain tang of um, dandelion flowers, lemon, um, preserved lemons. Something reminds me of HB pencils as well. Yeah, there's a, a certain minerality to it. it. Kind of smells like lag, but it smells like a fucking. It smells like like premium strength lager. Mm, mm, mm. The aroma's not kind of enticing me all that much anyway. Let's dive in and see what it's all about. Cheers. Okay. Um, mm, I'm really on the fence about this. It's kind of alright. It's definitely got a a slick butteriness to it. Class is a hellas. Yeah, yeah, it's got that kind of like it's got a but slight buttery, but not diastyle. It's that kind of slick of butter, like on a one butter on a crumpet. Um, it's got a certain kind of grassy hop edge to it. It's got a little something that's catching the back of my throat, like like a like um like hairspray, like an aerosol. Yeah, no, I'm gonna say I think there's some diastole in this. DMS and diastole. It's faint, and I know it's all supposedly um, quite um uh, quite acceptable in certain traditional styles. So um, uh, I just don't like it all that much. Yeah, my mate who runs my bot, um, local bot shop really big this up. Yeah, it's not my kind of lager. Yeah, I like Augustina. I do like it, like Eva as well. Um, this. Hmm, I could give it a miss. Yeah, I think that's got some quite unpleasant element bits to it. I think make it really cold and drink the rest of it. Uh, but I'm not that fussed by that at all. People who know a lot more about lager, tell me if I'm going wrong here. I will be quizzing my, quizzing my mate Peter, clueless drinker, who is a Indian. If they were safe there, they'll see they're, 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 they're what they think of it. I might be way off it. It might be something that everybody's jizzing the pants about. But to be honest, I'm not that fussed. It's got a lot of fucking crap in suspension as well. Got a lot of yeast in suspension there or something. You can't really, but you won't be able to see on camera. No, you won't be able to see. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking loose sediment in that. And the verdict is, don't really like it. So it is that that beer from that brewery. I can't pronounce it. The beer's not actually all that good. It was probably a bit too expensive for what it is as well. Hmm. Give it a miss. I'm Rob from Hobson. See you next time. 
Tschüss.